Hello and welcome to another Healing Hikes adventure for this year. Back bigger and stronger for 2023. We've got six weeks walking in Europe, all to be filmed on the channel. We've got multi-day and overnight hikes coming up. We've got weekly iconic hikes. So for today in this video, we're in the iconic Rubicon State Forest, walking through a Mount Nash rainforest. Key features of this walk are gonna be three trestle bridges, a huge dam wall with a waterfall coming over it, the Rubicon River. It's a heritage walk, so there's also gonna be the hydroelectric scheme, and there's also gonna be old sawmills as well. Also in the video today, I'm gonna to go through what happened in my life last year. Why is it that interesting? It was one of the biggest years of my life. It was, um, yeah, it was really impactful. So there's quite a story to tell you there, um, quite personal. So um, yeah, I'll let you in on that further on in the, um, in the hike. Oh, so I've already seen a red belly black snake as well. All right, so some key stats to do with this hike. There are three main hikes, or four, sorry, main hikes you can do here. There's a seven kilometer, there's a 17 kilometer, and a 23 kilometer, and then you can mix them up and make your own variations making the fourth. The minimum and maximum elevation gain will be 1100 meters. And um, yeah, it's a grade three hike. So check out one of my hiking education videos where I do go through the different grading levels and also pace for a walk and how long it should take you time-wise to complete such a long distance. It is pumping Royston Station, power station. So Rubicon River, Lake Hill, and all these rivers and creeks around here are flowing into this aqueduct, creating electricity, the sustainable, healthy way for the future, um, using water, sun, and wind. So 2022 was a massive year, both for the positive and for the negative. First of all, I'll go into the positives um, and then I'll talk about the latter. So for the channel, it was amazing. Um, I think we had over 25,000 views, over 90,000 minutes viewed. Um, we did 200 kilometer walks in a week um, in like amazing times. We filmed a Guinness World Record and um, we set up a new trail talk series and um, we really sort of established the channel and thought about where we want it to go for the future. Um, went to a lot of concerts and um, did a lot of new things as well because well, obviously we're out of COVID lockdown. Um, and another, the biggest high of all, the biggest positive was Leo. Oh, I love him. He's um, Nearly one years old, and um, yeah, he was born on the 30th of January. So a lot of my time was taken up being a dad, and I love being a dad. It's the best thing in the world, and he just is such a happy little boy. And that's where it leads to one of the negatives. So when I say negative, obviously there's always a silver lining to everything, and there's always a positive way of looking at everything. So um, if you're not interested, you can fast forward to the end, and there's this massive, huge man-made waterfall. It's absolutely huge and iconic. Um, so Leo was born on the 30th of January. Um, we tried hypnobirthing. I'll try and keep this short for you. 
Um, hypnobirthing is um, a state of meditation while, um, you know, the woman gives labor. Um, anyways, the labor ended up going for four days. There was three induction methods tried. And, um, you know, we tried really hard to do a natural birth. But in the end, um, an emergency C-section cesarean was required. So um, as Leo was, you know, being pulled out of mum, Crystal, um, he inhaled like li liquid, like fluid. And that's quite normal, like um, supposedly. But um, he inhaled it and it obviously his lungs were full of fluid. And um, oh, to see, to see the little guy, you know, just, yeah, breathing really heavily, wasn't very good. So they treated him for sepsis. Um, and what that is, is just, it's like an infection. And they gave him an antibiotics called gentamicin. So you can Google gentamicin and you'll see that one of the um, side effects is hearing loss. So um, we are in the middle of talking to the lawyers and all that kind of stuff. But the gentle mice and actually, um, yeah, that antibiotics made him deaf. So we've had nearly, you know, eight months, nine months of um, testing, um, MRIs. His eye, ear is structurally fine. He was born structurally fine. And um, yeah, and we've had, you know, ECGs, a lot of hearing tests all done over the last eight months. Um, so his left ear, um, and right ear are a little bit different. Um, his right ear, he has a cochlear implant. So um, this is the silver lining. Technology is amazing. Um, thank you, Professor Graham Clark, the inventor of the cochlear implant. Um, so Leo had surgery, um, just over 10 months old. Um, he was put to sleep and they inserted a chip sort of into the skull and now he's got the cochlear implant. And the left ear, he needs a hearing aid. Um, to hear the speech realm. So, um, look, I said it was a negative, but it's a positive that, you know, everyone has been so amazing and helpful and we've got technology. But um, just, I'm just, why am I telling you, just in the future, if I ever say anything in the videos, you know, about Leo and his hearing, um, or, you know, you know, Leo will eventually come on hikes with us and he will take over the channel when he's a lot older if he wants to. So I just thought I'd let you know that bit of a backstory, but um, he's incredibly intelligent. He's so smart. He's um, already crawling. He's well ad um, advanced for his age because um, they do a lot of communication, listening and talking, um, you know, like testing. So he's either on par or advanced for his age. So, um, yeah, now nah, thanks for listening to the personal story. Um, all right, well, let's get back on with the hike. The mountain ash eucalyptus tree is the world's tallest, largest flowering tree in the world and it can live up to 500 years old and grow up to 100 metres tall. Just listen to the amount of power that is rushing through this aqueduct, this little part just here, churning those little turbines further up down at the power station. It is so beautiful just to walk along this aqueduct. Like, it's just refreshing. Walking past all the ferns, the rainforest. This one is quickly becoming in my top five hikes. This hike actually reminds me of um, two places we've already filmed on the channel. Um, one would be Valhalla. So Valhalla is, um, means Valley of the Gods. And it's literally in a valley and it's an old mining town. And um, so that's awesome. And then the other one was Nuji Trestle Bridge. 
which was um, a second or third largest trestle bridge in Victoria. Um, so yeah, we filmed that one, but check out these rainforests and the mountain ash trees. Oh, you can hear the sound of that water and we're coming up to Rubicon Dam, the man-made waterfall. It is huge. Wow, to see this in person, it is absolutely breathtaking. Well, that's the end of the hike. Another iconic Healing Heights Australia for this week. Make sure you tune in next week as we go on another big iconic hike all the same. So I hope you're all well and happy hiking.